tend to learn a lot about each other while you're, you're going through your process. I think being out of your comfort zone is something that they really push you to do. Yeah. I don't think anyone understands how much time you put into this course. Should I make the porridge? Maybe yogurt. Oh, I know I do have porridge, but people make fun of me because especially now that I'm cooking loofah, I'm going to show you it looks like porridge. I came across uh, loofah at a drugstore and, and um, not knowing very much about material at the time. The more information I found about it, the more I, I thought it was a very underutilized material, which to me had tremendous potential in the design industry. I found out that there is a state in Brazil, in Belo Horizonte, that actually is known for growing a lot of these vegetable sponges. I found out that the biggest species of lufa is the lufa cylindrica. They're the longer uh, ones that they grow up to, you know, a meter and a half. To be able to pick up this vegetable and the weight of this this thing, it's quite, it's quite enormous. You begin to build a, a very special relationship with the material, the way the way you use it, uh, the way you interact with it. It's about just choosing a material that is natural, that is better and can perform better than a synthetic material. This is the best cover. This is where it all began. Just put a little bit. I just think that's really exciting. It all looks quite technical because this is the size of the actual grain. 008 is the one that I've been focusing on. Sky blue 25E. It's all quite serious considering it is actually glitter. <laughs> I have actually got a box with them. Um, Shall I show you my box? This is my glitter box which I've been keeping. How many grams of this? It doesn't come cheap. <laughs> So this is a colour that I've been using quite a lot, apricot. Sometimes it can get a little bit messy. I'm fairly protective over my glitter. <laughs> oh, sorry, has that gone on your camera? <laughs> Shit, sorry. Um, is that all right now? On a serious note, you do actually have to be really considerate when you print with it because it can get into other people's work. So I have to, um, there is actually a little hoover. So I'm quite well domesticated after my MA quite satisfying. <laughs> now you see it, now you don't. I try not to leave too much glitter in my tracks, but unfortunately I can't help it. I mean, near deadlines, you, you get less and less sleep. I suppose at the beginning, you kind of get the decent amount, what, seven, eight hours, but then you know it will catch up to you. I always catch some shatai occasionally, not all the time, occasionally. <laughs> I push these three chairs together and just lie down when I'm so exhausted. Somehow, when you think back, it's like my inspiration started with Africa, but it's developed so much. And also, because I work in a jazz club and I normally listen to jazz music, and that's my whole theme for this collection. Plus, I was just using black and white because I'm not very good with colour. So, yeah. <laughs> this is my pre-collection. I found the material like in the pound shop because I was looking for weird materials to use. I love using unconventional fabrics. I do a lot of sampling. I always work backwards, meaning that instead of doing the designs on paper, I always start with doing fabric samples and seeing what I can do, what I can come up with. Um, fabrics dyed. I dyed them in-house. This is like the strip underlay tubes which I've dyed to a darker blue using dispersed dye in the dye bath downstairs. And it just takes a while for it to dye. It looks like an octopus, right? So disgusting. And it's got quite a sporty feel, but still quite glamorous, I don't know. But still going back to my jazzy kind of girl, that's the kind of person I'm designing for. If you had such a stressful day at school, you just go there and your brain literally just switches off from all school works. Then you're dealing with customers and people <laughs> while you're waitressing, in. And then when the music comes on, it's just so nice. It's very different. I suppose, as I always say, like it's for me, it's kind of like a curse, but it's also a gift because I get to relax in the evenings. So I came straight from my BA onto this with a bit of savings, and I'm leaving with nothing but an education and a degree. <laughs>